welcome to this, the fourth video in the Ranarex Studio data-driven testing series, data binding. In the previous videos, we defined our variables and assigned our data source. However, the variables are not yet bound with the data source. To bind them, right mouse click on any unbound variable and select data binding. A dialog box appears detailing the data columns and module variables. We will specify one variable per column. The column txt first name will be bound to the variable txt first name, last name to last name, and so on and so forth until all the columns are bound to their corresponding variables. We click OK. We now see that all variables are bound in the test suite view. Auto bind. If we start once again with all variables being unbound and use the context menu to bind the variables. Once the dialog box is open, we can press the auto bind button. The columns are then automatically bound to their corresponding variables. The column header in Excel or other data source must have the exact same name as the variable for auto bind to work. If you keep this in mind while designing your data source and naming your variables, you can accelerate the data binding process. In the next video in the Renorex Studio data driven testing series, we will run our test.